God made a promise to Abraham. God told Abraham, I'm going to give you this land. You're going to be the father of many nations, and all nations on earth will be blessed through you. Well, Abraham had a son named Isaac, and Isaac had a son named Jacob. And Jacob, Jacob wasn't necessarily the best guy in the world, not a great role model. He ended up having two wives and two concubines besides that. And he had a bunch of kids. He had 12 sons and at least one daughter we know of. And Jacob had a favorite wife. And that wife's kids were his favorite. And maybe you know one of those kids. In fact, the last 13 chapters of Genesis detail his adventures. It's a guy by the name of Joseph. Maybe you've heard him as the dreamer or as Joseph and the amazing Technicolor dream coat. He was sold into slavery. He was put in jail through false accusations. He was made second in command of Egypt, and he rescued the world. And you hear all that, and you might think, well, clearly the promise that God gave Abraham to Isaac and Jacob, that's supposed to go through Joseph, if we're paying so much attention to him. But it's interesting, because in Genesis 49, God gives this prophecy. The scepter will not depart from Judah nor the ruler's staff from between his feet until he comes to whom it belongs and the obedience of the nations is his. Joseph's big brother Judah, the son of the woman that wasn't loved. In other words, God still saw them and loved them. Now it's true, God still used and blessed Joseph in amazing ways and blessed many people through Joseph. But God saw those others that were unloved. And I want you to find comfort in that as we approach Christmas. Maybe you feel that you are not loved. Maybe you look around you and you say, I am alone. God sees you. He sees you. And he links you to Christmas. See, Jesus came for you too. You are not forgotten. You are not unloved. You are linked to Christmas.